Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is just me introing today's video. As you can hear, I'm not very well yet again. I've yet to upload. When I was sick two weeks ago, I filmed a sick day at home. That video will be coming soon. <clears throat> However, I've just realized that you guys haven't seen that. Yes, I'm ill again. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I need to get better because I go to Scotland in six days, five days, something like that. Um, so I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, this is the second half of the video, starting with me opening my PO box. Hello, Ava. You look lovely. Look at your jumper. Or your sweater. Cool. I'm back from the school run and PO box run and cans run. And then we stopped for a McDonald's drive through and I bought the kids some snacks. Anyway, I started opening the PO box already and we got a lovely little package from Gerald and Michelle. Thank you so much for these. They bought a jumper each or a sweater for Fen and for Ava and they're matching and it's so cute. I mean, they're matching as in matching design, but different color, a nice pink one for Ava and a blue one for Fen, which I love because everyone mistakes Ava as a boy. So I like dressing her in pink or having girly colors on her because then people know that she's a girl, which I know is very stereotypical, but that's the world we live in. Anyway, let's open the others. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh looks like a book. Ooh, a few books. <gasps> oh, this is so kind, guys. Oh. oh, there's no note, but I think someone sent me a message saying that they've ordered me some books from Amazon and this was from Amazon. So I'll check through my emails, but yeah. So they've got, this is huge. This is Mercedes Lackey, The Last Herald Ma Madge. Herald Madge? Herald Madge. Anyway, it looks like a, a fantasy novel, and as you know, I'm really loving my fantasy novel that I'm reading at the moment, so I love that. And this is Raymond E. Feist, Silverthorn. Again, they, that looks very magical. That is so cool. Guys, this is, obviously I've had people send me antique books before, which is amazing and incredible, uh, collect antique books. I've actually never really had anyone send me a series of books before, so I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you. That will be next on my list when, once I've finished my current series. Thank you. Now, I believe these are from the same person. They've got the same writing. Um, these feel like books as well. Oh my gosh, I am so spoiled. This is from a guy called David who said that he saw my Edinburgh videos, and look, 111 places in Edinburgh that you shouldn't miss, which is great because I'm going to Edinburgh in a few days with, in about 10 days time, Leah and I are going to Scotland, uh, a few days in Edinburgh, and then to the Isle of Skye and a few other places with some of our viewers, with 15 of our viewers that are flying, I think all of them are flying from America over to the UK, to Scotland. Um, so I'm gonna have a read of that before we go. Plus, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but. Obviously, Keegan and I went to Edinburgh, which is how David saw that. Uh, you can watch the video here. Keegan and I loved going to Edinburgh Fringe so much that we've decided that we're gonna try and go every single year. And I've said that I would love one day to have a little apartment in Edinburgh. So yeah, this, I will absolutely be keeping this forever and I will learn it inside and out. This one, Edinburgh's Hidden Walks. That's very cool, because I love exploring cities. I love little walks like that. And this looks good. Pockets of Pretty, an Instagrammer's Edinburgh. You know I'm, oh, David's even written in it. To Joel Wood from David Brims. Thank you so much. You guys know I absolutely love properties and looking at old buildings. Look at those front doors. Edinburgh's been in the news recently because a woman painted her grade two listed property with a pink front door. It actually looked really good. She got told she had to paint it a different color because they're like, it's not in keeping with the vibe. But then she's allowed to paint it a bright green. It was like, what's wrong with bright pink? The pink was fine. Harry Potter places, that is cool. So it's basically all the filming locations from Harry Potter. Sterling and the Trossaches, Trossachs. Wow, I don't actually know anything about that. I don't know what that is, so that will be a learning curve for me. Picturing Scotland in Edinburgh, that is cool. And another one here. Oh, Caledonia, am I going there? I don't know if I'm going there on this trip, but this is brilliant. Thank you so much. I mean, isn't it amazing that you didn't know that like Scotland's more than just a place I visited. It's a place that I really want to explore more of and me and Keegan, it's a very special place for me and Keegan. Um, or Keegan and I, I should say. Actually, no, me and Keegan is grammatically correct in that scenario. Because I wouldn't say Scotland is, a, is an important place to I. I'd say Scotland is an important place to me. Therefore, if you add another person, it would be me and Keegan. It wouldn't be Keegan and I. 
Did your Wood some books for your Scotland trip? Thank you, David. You know what? I'm gonna take some of these on the trip with me so that I can just look like I'm a real nerd. I mean, we have a tour guide. I'm gonna try and usurp the tour guide and be like, did you know? <laughs> did you know this about Scotland? And then we've got this huge one here. This must have cost a fortune to send. You guys really do spoil me and I feel very lucky. The fact that you guys are so thoughtful and you send me things like this, like clothes for my dogs, new books for me to read, books for to help me explore one of my favorite places in the world. And who knows what this is. Look at this, they've all been wrapped. And it says Joel and Keegan. You know what? He's not gonna mind, I'm gonna open it now. The kids are gonna be over the moon. This is their favorite, especially Taylor. She absolutely loves this. I wonder if they're all the tomato and basil ones. I might call her down. Um, Alexa, drop in Taylor bedroom. Taylor? Yes? Can you come downstairs, please? Yeah, on my right. Okay, thank you. I'm filming, by the way, but you can come and join. Hello? Would you like to open these? Wow. I've opened one, but I think you might like them. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, that one says original. But oh my god! Opened. No way! <laughs> Not you! How cool! Oh, I love it! They're literally Taylor's favourite flavour of wheat thins. Mm -hmm. Who knew? We said when we go to Florida, we're going to have to stock up on a load of tomato and basil wheat thins. Or basil. Basil. As America say. Tomato I think there's more. and basil. Look at they? these. Oh my gosh, we are such a weak thing family. Like Another original one. Another Fletcher. Oh, yes. Love. We are fully stocked up. Oh, I love it. That is brilliant. These will all be gone very soon. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we can reserve those ones for you because you really love those ones. I mean, they are probably the more flavoursome ones. Fletcher loves the original ones. Yeah. And I just like all of them because I'm greedy. <gasps> is it all favourite? Oh my god. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Look at this guy. Oh, that is so cute. Is Ava and Ben cuddling? It's you, Ava. That's you. You're the problem, it's you. Oh my god. That is so cute. That is so cute. <laughs> Look, guys. Aww. Give you a close up. That's you, Ava. Ava and Fen cuddling. That is so kind. The magic thing about home is that it feels good to leave and it feels even better to come back. That's cute. Aww. To Joel and Keegan. Oh, love Joe. I know who Joe is, that's very cute. Joe actually did tell me to go and have a look. I won't read it, I won't read the letter on camera. I'll, <laughs> I'll save it for off camera. But thank you so much, Joe, that is so, so cute. So we can just eat wheat thins and look and at Abram Fenn. look Aver at Abram Fenn, with Abram Fenn next to us. Yeah. Here he is, the, the speaker has returned. Oh, I told them this morning about the debacle last night because he didn't chew his food properly. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Did yeah. Overcooked the yeah, chips. No, it's, somehow fault. it's somehow my fault. Yeah. Um, did it go well, your talk in London? Uh, it went really well. The view was very nice. It was in the Walker Talkie building. Oh, yeah. Lovely view. I've always wanted to go to the Sky Garden in the Walker Talkie building. Queuing. Really? Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. That's the thing, they do get yoga. A, get a grippy. Get a grippy. It's just a view. It's just a view of London. <laughs> it's just some strata buildings that are put together. So the walkie talkie building, when it was first built, they had to they spend so much money on replacing the glass because the walkie talkie building bends round like that and the sun was reflecting off of the walkie talkie building onto cars and it was melting cars. I think it melted like a Porsche as well because it's a very expensive part of London and it was literally causing damage to things in London. So they had to, the architects did not plan that well. They had to go back through, replace all the glass with like anti-reflection glass or something. Is that like glass? A bit like glass, but more expensive. More expensive. <laughs> glass. <laughs> Good one. Um, anyway, we're gonna have our jacket potatoes and have a relaxing evening and probably an early night after last night. Yeah, get me some very tired. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning and I am just off to Dee Dee's, Dunkin' Donuts's. I've had a leisure, I've been up since seven uh, because that's what time Keen gets up for rugby practice and um, he goes straight from, he takes Taylor with him and then he goes straight from rugby practice to Taylor's football practice. Um, unless like a week like last week where he wasn't able to, so I did. But yeah, I've had a nice leisurely morning, um, but I actually really enjoyed last week when I took Taylor to her football practice I just went to a coffee shop and I actually got a video edited it just felt very productive and it was really fun admittedly it was nice and sunny and it's rainy and horrible today so 
that's not very nice. But yeah, I just figured, you know what, I'm gonna try and replicate that. I'm just gonna go to my local coffee shop. I would have walked there, but it's very, very rainy. I mean, I would like to go to Starbucks instead of Dunkin' Donuts. However, it's a bit more of a drive. I don't know if I can be bothered. For some people, some people ask me, oh, is there not any independent cafes near you that you could go to? And the thing, firstly, no, not really. Not as close as Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. There was like a little bakery cafe. You can't sit in there, but I had a coffee from there once and it tasted like puddle water. Like it was not good. <laughs> um, if I drove to the nearest town, um, there probably would be some more independent cafes. But I often find A, there's smaller so they tend to be a bit busier and B I'm never sure in an independent cafe whether it's acceptable to sit with a laptop because I find that nowadays there are lots of cafes or there were in London oh squirrel move um, there were lots of cafes in London that were like laptops not welcome like we want you to come and have a coffee but you're not allowed to sit on your laptop which I, I understand. However, for self-employed people like me that work from home, it's quite handy to go to a coffee shop sometimes as a change of scenery. Whereas I know that there's no issue with me just sitting on my laptop in Starbucks or in Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, that's why I tend to go to these big chains. But yeah, but obviously if I want a really nice boutique experience, a really artisan type coffee, then yeah, I will go to an independent coffee shop. So yeah, as I briefly mentioned yesterday about the Scotland trip uh, with Leah and 15 of our legends that are coming with us. They're all flying from the US. It's a jam-packed six days. The first night, so it starts in about 10 days time. The first night on Sunday night, we've got a big welcome meal and um, it's being paid for by the tourism company. So we had to select our meal choices. Um, we're all chatting on the WhatsApp group, getting excited for the trip and everyone's like deciding what to pack. Cause there are some people coming from hotter climbs so they're like oh it's very strange to be packing for like a colder climate and I was like it's definitely cold here at the moment so pack a hat pack, a, pack your coat my fingers are so cold at the moment but yeah it's gonna be a jam-packed six days we're staying in four different hotels over the six days we are going to the Isle of Skye we're going to the Cairngorms National Park we're gonna be looking at the massive viaduct from the Harry Potter movies where the train goes over that big bridge um, we're doing tours of Edinburgh Castle we're doing whiskey tasting like it's hopefully going to be the trip of a lifetime uh, for all of us, even though me and Leah, like I live the four hour drive from Edinburgh, so I actually live very near Scotland now, <laughs> which is very weird to, to think. However, it will still be the trip of a lifetime for me. I've done Edinburgh twice, however, I've not done any, any other part of Scotland, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Obviously, Keegan and I are going back to Scotland again in August uh, for the Edinburgh Fringe, and yeah, it's just, I just love Scotland so much, I wish I was Scottish. I mean, I think I do have some Scot Scottish blood. When I did my 23andMe test, I definitely had a bit of Scottish and a bit of Irish. I don't think I had any Welsh, which was sad. Just preparing for that trip, really, I'm now thinking, oh, I need to start prepping YouTube videos, like two videos, one for the Sunday, Basically the trip's Sunday to Saturday, so I need one ready for the Sunday and then one maybe for Thursday, because um, I won't necessarily, I don't know if I'll have internet connection, because I will in the Edinburgh hotels, but maybe once we get to the more rural hotels, there might not be Wi-Fi, so yeah, I need to prepare for that. And I'll be driving, so Leah's getting the train, uh, all of our legends are flying, and I will be driving, which feels so weird to say that I'm gonna be driving to Scotland. But as I said, it only takes four hours, so I might as well have paid for parking for the week. That's been the most expensive part. That was about 130 quid to park for six days. Um, but anyway, we've arrived. Car park is empty, because no one ever comes to sit in Dunkin' Donuts. Here we go. I mean, I love to call it DD's for sure because it sounds more bougie. We've just done a little nip to the shops and look what I treated us to. What well, I treated us, as in I picked them out, Keegan paid for them. Some lilies. We haven't had flowers in the house for a while, have we? Why do you always have to look fuming when I, because then I get people commenting going, oh my gosh, Keegan and Joel have had a fight. You can tell by the way Keegan was reacting that he's annoyed at Joel. He's not annoyed at me. He just, that is what his face is like when he's had <laughs> enough of life. There's spat everywhere. Um, I am just generally a miserable cow. Yeah, he is. Um, I'm actually very tired. You are, and I can tell by the way you've opened, butchered opening that box. Doesn't matter though. It's Judge all for recycling. Judgy job. That is part of my 
I'm an INFJ. I did a personality test, Myers Briggs test, and the J stands for judging because that's my, what my personality type does. What am I? INT or INTJ. ENTJ. ENTJ. But I wouldn't say you're an extrovert. You're like me, you're a confident introvert. You like your own time, but you also like being around people. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get these in some water and in the living room. You're such a hot to culturist. Aren't I? That's me. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's pop them on here with all my books and magazines that need tidying. Great, they will look lovely in a few days' time. Fabulous. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There'll be more videos coming soon, hopefully another one this week. Also, just want to say thank you so, so, so much to everyone who has donated to my fundraising campaign for the Dogs Trust. It was mental. I set the target at £250 and after just posting it on Instagram, not even on YouTube, we got to 220 So I was like, okay, I'll change the target to 500 Release the YouTube video. Suddenly we got to £900 within minutes and I was like, okay, I need to change the target again. So I changed it to 2000 and that's where it's at right now. We've so far got about £1,400 of donations, which is insane thank you so much the dogs trust have been in touch with me they're over the moon so thank you guys uh, but the link is still there it's still live if you would like to donate but thank you to all of you who've been watching my last video as well out of my last 10 videos youtubers told me it's number one of 10 which means it has more views than any of my last 10 videos so thank you so much for watching please keep giving it a watch because yeah all the ad revenue will be going to the dogs trust it'll be added to that total anyway i will see you next time for another video Bye.